In this video, we'll see about the risk assessment part. Now, what exactly is risk assessment and why do we need it? So if you're a manual tester, you can understand we always have a lack of time and resources for testing. So in this conditions, what should be done? So we'll be testing only those requirements which are highly critical, highly important and highly required by the client itself. Who will be assessing this? We have HPLM functionality where we can do this risk assessment. So what it says is, it says highly risky elements need to be tested first. But how do I find out which are highly requirement or I can say highly risky elements? There is a calculation matrix which can be done in HPLM. So with the help of that, I can find out which are the highly risky elements which requirements need to be tested first. So let us see practically about the risk assessment. So let's see now how do we calculate the risk of the particular requirement. So what I'll do is I'll just open this login requirement. I'll just click on this ID number two and this dialog box will open the requirement details dialog box. In the previous video, we have seen about the rich text, the attachments, the details and the history. So in this video, we'll see how to work on the risk assessment. So I'll just click on that please. Now, if you observe, I have this uh, assessment results which are given and uh, there are some check boxes which are selected. First of all, I'll deactivate those check boxes. Now, it says assessment summary, which is given as risk, business criticality, failure probability or functional complexity. Right now, they have been given as blank. If you know the risk of this particular requirement, you can just simply select as custom and you can give it high. If you know that the functional complexity, you can just use as custom and you can select some option from here, high, medium and low. But right now, what we'll do is we'll try to take advantage of HP ALM by answering some few questions for the assessment for the risk. Those questions, when you answer, you'll be getting the uh, business criticality. You'll be getting the failure probability and so on. So very first thing, I'll just click on this assessment questions. If you carefully see this, one is given as business criticality, failure probability, functional complexity. So business criticality in this place, if it's if you see here, that's a business criticality, failure probability and functional complexity. So if you answer this four questions for this business criticality, like what is the type of process and so on. So you'll be getting an answer here. This will be calculated and you'll be getting an answer here. Let us see that. First of all, what is the type of process? This login is what type of process here? So I'll say, is it a calculation or validation? Yes, it is a validation. What is the impact of failure? So there are options given as legal, wrong information, no impact. So it's a legal, uh, that will be a legal itself. Now what exactly legal says is on the right hand side, you see there are some legal consequences if you select this legal option here. So next is frequency of use. If I click on this drop down, it says very often, often and rare. I'll say as very often. Number or significance of affected users, I can say as many or high. So when I answer all these four questions of this login for the business criticality, and if I click outside, you see, I'll be getting the option as A under A hyphen critical. That means the calculated business criticality is what critical, where it will be updated. If you answer this assessment questions, the result will be given in this assessment results. So if I click on this assessment results, if you carefully observe business criticality is A hyphen critical. Same way, if I go to this assessment questions, try to understand this failure probability. I'll randomly select as new feature or some few options from here and uh, like this. And if you observe carefully, if I click outside somewhere, I'll be getting this calculated failure probability like this. And you see the number is given as one hyphen high. This failure probability questions when you answer, this will be given in the results part. If you see failure probability. The another method for jumping here is you can just simply click on this link part and you'll be jumping to this functional complexity. Same method, I'll just randomly select, answer some few questions like this, click outside, I'll be getting us to medium. If I go to this results part, and if you observe for functional complexity, I'm getting us medium. So calculating this three on this business failure and functional, I'll be getting the appropriate risk itself. So it's giving us high. So the risk is given as high part itself. So this is the method by which you can calculate a risk of a particular requirement. So based on the risk, you'll be executing or you'll be testing that particular requirement. So lower risk requirements are not required earlier. Okay, so high risk requirements, you'll be testing it first itself. I'll just click on this OK button. 
right so now if you observe i have name column requirement id direct cover status and the author what if i want the assessment risk results here itself so i can simply select this option as select columns now i'll be getting a dialog box which says these are available columns and these are visible columns so if you observe i have only four columns name id direct cover status and author these are the four columns what if i want to enter something named as business criticality i'll select this option if i want something else let's say failure probability i'll select this one if i want functional complexity select this one and i'll click on okay now when you click on okay this columns will be appeared and if you observe this columns have appeared and i'm getting the values of this business criticality failure probability and so on so all the options will be visible here right so this is the method by which you can calculate a risk and you can display in the view itself that's all for this video